already we have discovered many fine things for science and indeed my memoirs. Look, there's another one just off the star. Oh, it's coming right for us, quick! <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Sunless Sea. Oh yes, it's a new game here on the channel, a game that was gifted to me by Fallen X quite some time ago, a game that I've been really looking forward to doing a series on for a long time, but it's something that I've wanted to do right. Hopefully, this time, I shall indeed get it right. It's kind of a choose-your-own-adventure game, along with some added gamey bits. Let the story begin. Captain's Making Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Untazi. Choose a past. You now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman. So this is the nature of this game, you see? There's going to be lots of me reading out text and things. I hope that's alright. Who were you? Now you're a captain. You belong to the Untazi. But who were you before? A street urchin? A poet? A veteran of Campaign 68? An ordained priest? Or a natural philosopher? Your peculiar theories on time, blood, and starlight brought you down to the neath, this cavern where London lies, and now they take you out to Z. This will give you a bonus to mirrors, the skill of detection and perception. I think that's the one that stands out for me. It's sort of the most like a wizard, if you think about it. A wizard is a kind of philosopher, a kind of arcane philosopher, so a natural philosopher is what we're going to be. Your acquaintance, the plausible surgeon, will serve as ship's doctor until you find someone better. Talk to him to find out why he went to Z. We've gained a bunch of stuff. Continue. Choose an ambition. What does winning mean to you? Your father's bones. Fulfillment. Wealth. A private kingdom. Ooh, ah, oh, it's locked. I'd love a private kingdom. That sounds perfect. Uh, but I guess I can't choose this now, but you may find an opportunity to switch to it later in the game. We'll keep our eyes open for that. Should we survive long enough, the chances are quite strong that our character will indeed not live long enough. But we shall see. We shall see. Um, let's go for fulfillment, shall we? Gather a hundred tales, learn all you can of the Z, write a masterpiece, and retire. Whenever you return to Fallen London, you have the option of retiring, but you'll need to write your masterwork first. An occurrence. Your objective, ambition, quality, is now become London's most venerated explorer. Oh yes! Sounds good to me. A last scrap of paperwork. Captain! Captain! An irregularity with the Harbour Master's office. They wish to know what term of address you prefer ashore. This will determine what people call your captain, but your captain's gender is up to you. Okay, well, my captain's gender shall be male, but aboard... Uh, oh, should we be madame? <laughs> we could be. Um, I mean, it would be a little bit peculiar, but then we are a little bit peculiar. Sir, citizen, my lord. Perhaps you really do come from a noble family. Who's to know? Well, yes, of course. On the surface? Absolutely, I came from a noble family. Uh, no one here knows me, do they? Yep, my lord will do. Thank you. A pleasure to welcome you on board, my lord. The last pieces of advice. Explore. Take chances. This captain will probably die. The Z is hungry, but each captain passes on lessons to the next. Who are you? An occurrence. Your addressed as quality is now... My lord. I can't believe I chose my lord. Can I go back? I should probably make it just, sir. Uh, slightly less pretentious. Alright, fine. We're going to go with my lord. Obviously, we are a nobleman. We need an appropriately nobleman-esque um, portrait here. Let's have a look. That's... I mean, he's a nice fellow, but uh, a bit more salt of the earth, sort of old salty sea dog, really. That's pretty lord-like. I like that one. I think that actually might be the winner. Um, we could just... We could be really, like, eccentric and just always walk around with our full deep-sea diving suit on. Um, 
I mean, that's pretty cool as well. But I think we're going to go with this chap here, look. I mean, he's got what appears to be a fantastic beard and moustache, uh, possibly a monocle or maybe a pair of spectacles. Whatever. Choose our name. Um, well, perhaps this could be uh, Wilberforce Weird. Uh, it's been a while since we've heard from a Wil Wilberforce Weird the first, obviously, because this is some time back in history. He is, in the future, a renowned monster hunter. But here in the past, uh, he is an explorer, an adventurer, a philosopher of the Untersee. Fallen London, deep, dark, and marvellous. All voyages start here, and this is where successful voyages end. London, the greatest city in the Untersee. So basically, like I said, it's a kind of a choose-your-own-adventure type thing, although there is bits where we drive around and shoot stuff and all that other cool stuff you would expect from a video game. Uh, but right now, we're in London itself, so we can either explore London, we can take a look at our lodgings, or we can read advice for captains. The much-lamented M. Um, we may have to come back and read advice for captains. I've played this a little bit during my various attempts to start recording this series. Uh, but not a huge amount, so, I mean, we, we might come to refer to this from time to time. Or indeed, if you uh, if you are familiar with this game, if there's anything you think is desperately important for me to know that I don't appear to be doing, please do let me know in the comments. Fallen X, I'm looking at you. Alright, so, uh, let's head into London. She's the greatest city in the Untersee, and don't you forget it. Visit the Admiralty's survey office. They pay for information from Z captains. Find out what and how. I think this is kind of one of the main avenues for generating income and, and sort of driving your adventure forward. Visit the university. This is currently locked. Find secrets by locating locations of interest or in foreign ports. Interesting. All right, we'll come back to that later. Uh, we can carouse in the Wolfstack docks, but that is also currently locked, I think. A matter of luck. Pretty good odds. Yeah, it is locked. Hire on more crew. I don't think we need more crew at this point in time. I don't know how much crew we've got. We can take a look at our ships, actually. Look, here's our current ship. Uh, Chipping Norton. That's what it's called. Can we rename our ship? Um... So it doesn't appear to be a way of renaming the ship. If you know how to rename the ship, uh, let me know, uh, because that would be good. It would be nice to obviously name it the Dubious Endeavour, or other such name. Uh, we can visit shops and buy stuff, but we haven't really got any monies. We can talk to... We've got two officers. We've got the plausible surgeon, and also our mascot, the comatose ferret, uh, which, is, which is just fantastic. I never want to lose the comatose ferret, I have to say. I brought him all the way down from the overland, uh, or however it is, wherever it is I originally came from. Should we talk to the plausible surgeon? Uh, speak to? Hello, my dear, my dear! Sit down carefully! Just let me tidy away these implements. We don't want any carelessness now, do we? Uh, increase your pages. That is currently locked. Ask after his desires and ambitions. He's marvel. He's travelled much, seen all manner of wound and malady. But is there anything left for him to discover? Any places he wishes to go? Well, we'll we'll talk to him later. We won't we won't waste our time doing that now. Let's head over to the Admiralty's office. They pay for information from Z captains. The Admiralty's picket fleets and intelligence networks are long gone. The survey office pays Z captains a small sum for recent information. Visit and investigate ports to gain port reports. Yes, that's something we're going to do as we go around. Ask if there is anything in particular they need. Well, if we can be assured of your discretion. Ask to speak to a higher authority. Do you have an appointment? Leave the Admiralty's office. I don't think... We're not going to do anything here, right? Okay, we're going to head back out to the foggy streets of London. Turn up your collar. We're going to head out to sea. I don't think there's anything we really need to do here ashore. We've got stocks aboard ship. Um, we're, we're ready to go. We need to go and explore. So we're going to give a rousing speech to the men. Make ready, men, for it is a great day. A noble day. A day that shall live on in history. For we begin today not just a voyage of commerce or conveyance, but one of curiosity, of discovery, of science. I, Wilberforce Weird, adventurer, scientist, philosopher, and wizard shall record our exploits for all to see and hear. Come then, men of the Chipping Norton, fire the engines, light the lamps, and on, on into the ever night. 
now I can turn my light here on and off if I need to there we go you see but I think we get Ooh, November 30th 1887 discovered bad Stevener's abyss 50 fragments gained there we go bad Stevener's abyss I guess we can go and like explore these little islands just outside of London they're probably not terribly interesting discovered Rowena's rocks 50 fragments there's Rowena's rocks some kind of little island or islet just outside of London if we take a look at the uh, chart yeah here we go so there's there's like loads to explore um, and I believe it is uh, semi randomized or procedural uh, let's just head south for now I guess we'll, we'll sort of set a generally southerly course um, Oh, what's this? Look, some kind of great sea creature or something. Blue lightning crawls leisurely up the funnel. St. Aramis dancing. The cry goes up. Um, let us let us approach this oral megalops, or oral megalops, and prepare to fire on it for science. Ah, oh, yes, a direct... Oh, no, look, it's coming for us. Quick, run away. I think it attacked us. I think we may have taken a bit of damage, not too much. There's another one, look. We better get back in a firing arc. Oh, it's done! We have slaughtered the beast for science! With a forlorn and wailing cry, the megalops turns on its back, legs neatly folded, as bluish blood gouts from its wounds. Its golden glow begins to dim. Shall we butcher it for supplies or dissect it for knowledge? A very modest challenge. I think we should dissect it for knowledge. We are, of course, only just outside of London. We have five supplies, which I guess is not like tons and tons of supplies, but it's, you know, it's better than nothing, surely. Uh, so let's, let's, let's just dissect it for knowledge. Here we go. A crab full of conundrums. You set to work with your knives and acids. It is an undistinguished adolescent specimen. A megalops of one of the deep Z crab species, but its eyes, normally vestigial in this troglodytic beast, are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone now, although sparks leap now and then to your knife. You've gained one fragment. You succeeded in a page's challenge. The higher the quality, the higher the chance of success. Excellent! You see already we have discovered many fine things for science and indeed my memoirs. Look, there's another one just off the starboard. Oh, it's coming right for us! Quick! Engineers! Um, full power to engines. We need to get back around into the firing arc. Ah, oh, you missed! Gunners! Spend a little bit more time preparing your shots. That was a good hit. A good hit on target. We have to wait for it to come all the way around and then that's a solid hit. And of course we were reversing there as well, which is good to know that the engines are capable of going into Full reverse, now we need full ahead both, uh, and we'll close in on it. Basically, um, yeah, when that little thing goes around, you can fire the shot early, or you can wait till it's gone all the way around. If you wait till it's gone all the way around, I think it's a guaranteed hit. Otherwise, it may miss. The Megalops defeated. Another forlorn and wailing cry. The Megalops turns on its back, legs neatly folded, as bluish blood gouts from its wounds. Its golden glow begins to dim again. Um... Do we want? Do we need more knowledge? I think this is basically the same creature we just did. So let's just butcher this one for supplies. The crew will feast. That glowing fresh is unstable. What? It crisps and withers as the glow fades. So eat while it's fresh. Oh, okay. Well, pale and salty meats. Lovely. All right. So we didn't get any supplies, uh, but our hunger has gone down as we obviously like served up the crab for our crew to eat sound the all clear and we will continue on our great adventure well at least for a little while longer we don't want to go too far because this is our first voyage of course the air trembles a breath of change passes discovered murray straits so yeah we're going to continue south for a little while uh, maybe we should talk to the plausible surgeon and see if he's got anything to say about our journey here he's traveled much and seen all manner of wounds and malady but is there anything left for him to discover any places he wishes to go the chelonate you know it they collect corpses he shifts in his seat vast noble complicated corpses what i could learn what i could see 
My dearest captain, if we ever find ourselves in the Chelonate, I do hope you might see fit to release me from our arrangement. Uh, well, I don't know, uh, plausible surgeon, I don't know. Uh, you do, of course, owe me for reasons not yet specified, um, and uh, I may choose to release you. It depends if I've got any other cool uh, members of my office's team at that point in time. But it's probably not going to be something we need to worry about for a while, because I've got absolutely no idea where the Chelonate is. Close the gazetteer and let us continue on. Um, we'll do a little loop around and we'll come back to Quaker's Haven here. We just, I just want to sort of like see where this goes. Where's our map? Yeah, we'll we'll just kind of like maybe do a bit of a figure of eight and, and fill in this bit here as we head back to London. Full power to engines! Beware, your engines will occasionally explode. Look out, man! There's another megalops fire. Oh no! It's somehow managed to sneak around behind us. Um, Gunners, you were a little bit quick off the mark there. Oh, it's Helmsman, bring us around! What's going on, men? This Megalops is very angry. He keeps attacking us. We're taking a lot of hull damage here. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Back up! Full reverse engines! Gunners, get a beat on that target before it tears this ship apart! Ready? Pow! Oh, 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 right in the gentleman's region. Uh, but again, he didn't—he didn't even flinch. Um, this uh, this barbarian is made of some seriously stern stuff. Uh, does it, is it even working? I'm not sure. Let's try again. Ready? 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 